So welcome back to another Gibbs adventure and today I'm getting ready to put up an electric fence. So just cut the grass nice and short here. We're getting ready to figure it all out. My dad's gonna wire it up and we're gonna set it up because we're gonna put bees here. So my project today is to get the fence up because I'm not putting out bees until I have an electric fence up because uh, the black bears will cause havoc and it's not worth it so the uh, golden rod is really starting to come on really heavy here so I'm gonna set it up for the golden bees to take in the golden rod and see what happens I got uh, six nukes probably gonna bring four over here and and let them forage and see what happens so I got them in 10 uh, 10 frame boxes and we'll see what happens so follow along as we set up an electric fence here so first thing we want to do is unroll it all and get it ready to go dad's getting the ground pins you got to have ground pins he's getting those ready he's got two of those we're hooking it up on a battery with a little solar panel so that's our plan and we'll see how it goes. So you can see how big a fence, my fence is a little bit big, but better big than too small. And uh, just kind of opening it up and figuring it out here because make it too big. And uh, it's going to look funny with only a few hives in there, but the plan is to to fill it eventually next year with full of hives so just give you an idea of what we're doing here with the fence and we're getting her it's always good to have a little extra fence I got room for expansion but probably can put a good uh, 20 or 25 hives inside of there so that's probably enough for here but uh, we'll figure it out as we go it's always good to make things up a little bit, figure it out. Critical to have a, an electric fence to operate properly is you need to have grounding rods. And my dad's got two of them here. So, hang on dad, I'll catch up with you there. I guess I gotta drive those ground rods in, eh, Dad? Uh, yeah, I guess. Um, what do we got here? Uh, this is for the ground, huh? This is for that connection. Hey. I see that's the way they want to do it. Oh, come on. A pair of pliers? I get these nails on my fucking hand. Just about ready to fire it up and test her out. Got the control on, got the grounds on, got the battery hooked up. Got the key fence the way we want it. Oh, that's throwing a stretch. Lights on, Dad. She's working. You want to test it? <laughs> no, I don't think I will, Dad. I'll pass. <laughs> well, all right, now we can bring the bees. Right on. No way in Northern Ontario I would have a bee yard without having a electric fence. It's just not worth it. No, there's areas in the grass here where it's been packed down, potentially bear or deer. Yeah. 
So if you listen closely, you can hear the fence. So that's the power going, the electrical power going through the fence. So they don't like electric fences. So we're set up. Come back tomorrow. I'll, be, I'll load the bees up tonight and bring them here first thing tomorrow morning at daylight. We should be good. Right on, Dad. Good job. Yeah, I'll have to hook up the solar panel. So we're going to move a hive this morning. We're to the new spot. We're going to take this one because it's beating all the time. It's the busiest. So we're going to get them in and get them going here. So we'll see what happens. Get them in the back of the truck. Seal them up. Figure it out. And away we go. So I quickly threw in an entrance reducer, and which I'll plug off. Threw another box on because they're booming, and I tie wrapped it, and I'm ready to move them. We're gonna get her in the truck. So, got her ready to go. Got my platform in place. That's tuning up the fence a bit more. Just show you quickly. Gonna set it up there. That's the uh, top board I had. I put a solid board on for now just to get them over here. I'll put them back. It works. Hey? Where the hell should that heat up like that? See a little bit of smoke coming out of that. Where? The box. Oh. So I basically got them where I want them. Get the bricks right. Take the strap off. And we'll be good to go. So basically I got it set up where I want it now. And uh, I took the entrance reducer off. It's a nice cool day. You always want to be careful when you're moving your bees if it's too hot you can cook them so I threw a, an extra box on with a clean excluder because they're full full of bees I didn't realize there were that many bees in that hive which is a good thing but it's good to go and I'll uh, see how they go and check on them next week I gotta go to work for eight days but uh, they're all set up in their new home there's lots and lots of goldenrod and it's just coming on here. So they'll definitely cash in on that. My dad will keep an eye on them. See they're fanning here a little bit to cool the place down. That's why I make sure I have a upper entrance reducer. So just, that's the first, but uh, the plan is to fill this place up with beehives. So. We will see how it goes, and we'll report back. But I didn't want to move anything here until I got uh, an electric fence up because there's bears here. I'm in northern Ontario, and uh, bees and bears don't go well together. So for sure, I uh, 
wanted to make sure I was ready for them. So my plan is to probably put about 15 hives here eventually. So well, I got 6,000 volts in it, so that should deter any bear. Smoke them in there a bit. Heavy? Yeah. You want help? do a little bit of a hive inspection so it's this flat. is our new bee yard and you can see the goldenrod is really coming on in the in the area it's just yellow with goldenrod right now so I put this hive here a week ago I'm gonna just do a quick inspection and see how they're making out because I bet you that they'll fill that a bit close to filling that box so we'll see how it goes
these on the lid. It's got nectar in it. So they're sucking up the nectar there. It's funny how they draw with the comb sometimes. See how that, look at that knob there on the comb. Mm drawing cone here. See it's just wet with nectar. See all the nectar in it? It glistens in the sun if you can get, if I can get the right angle here. But anyways, well, they're doing good. They're slowly drawing out the frame. So, good. I tried to checkerboard it with new new uh, wax foundation and, and uh, our previously drawn foam. So, they're really liking the, the already drawn stuff. Anyways, that's enough. I don't want to interrupt them too much. Now that we have two hives installed, the golden rod in the area is coming on to full bloom and we're hoping for good results in the next 10 days. See you on the next one.